Welcome to week 38, day number two. Uh, we are so far into this. You know, when I started this a long time ago, uh, 38 weeks ago, I, I didn't know I was going to make it this far. I, I was hoping I could. Uh, but here we are in week 38. Uh, this is a one-year challenge. And every day what we do is we break these videos up into two parts. The first part is what we talk about the strategies that I've been implementing for a long time um, on how to grow my retirement income, how I've been growing my rental income, how I've been growing my passive income, my cash flow, my uh, uh, income in general um, through real estate. And I talk about a little bit uh, of the mindset behind it and then the second portion of the video, I go into showing you how to do it. One book really that I've been reading for like over 20 years, maybe 23 years. It's um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the book, but I read it because uh, all the time and I listen to it in my Audible and stuff because I really always think about uh, buying assets and not liabilities. So every day I'm looking for assets. I'm finding opportunities uh, uh, to generate recurring revenue income every single uh, day. So <clears throat> in order to do that is I have to evaluate a lot of deals. So you see that into practice. When I, when I do these videos, I am going through a lot of deals. Uh, and then we end up buying a few of those deals. They come into the funnel. And if you can picture a funnel, right, it goes in like this. At the bottom, bottom you end up with only a handful of deals. I remember when I started, uh, I, I used to listen heavily when I started listening to Robert Kiyosaki. I remember him saying something about, you know, it will take you 100, to, 100 deals to find one good deal. And I always keep that in mind. So I've always known that I have to look at a lot of deals in order to be able to find one. And I've run, right now, I've run two primary businesses. Uh, the primary businesses is, is uh, in real estate, going in and uh, uh, in doing like the work for, for, for dollars type thing, uh, flipping, like right now we have a flip. Uh, but then I also find deals uh, or opportunities for my friends, investors, people uh, from this community, uh, and then they buy them or we buy them together. So if you want to buy deals together with me and my team, uh, let me know. Comment below. My contact information is below. Also, you know, subscribe and like the video, share it. It will really help us reach out people like you. So uh, today we are talking about uh, the secrets to growing your nest egg in real estate. Uh, it is, it is a, a secret that will shock you. I mean, most of you will not believe me. And, and I'm okay with that. If you don't believe it, that's fine. But you will simply miss out. This is something you can prove yourself to be true. Uh, so you can go to a title company. Uh, nearby where you are and you can you know take notes from this video uh, and uh, kind of prove that what I'm saying it is true and that is the shocking thing which is if you have let's say a thousand dollars and you become a transactional lender or a gap lender that is when somebody's trying to close a deal but they can't find the money for like an earnest money deposit or, or, or probate fees to pay a lawyer in order to get that real estate transaction done, you can put your money up and pay for that. And then you can make a big chunk of money. You're not being paid based on percentage. You're being, based, uh, being paid based on your uh, timeliness, how, how easy. Uh, access of funds you can give some of these people get really desperate i get desperate sometimes you know because we have a large transaction and i have to have some liquid cash 
And a lot of times I don't, you know, and, um, and so I have to tap into some friends or whatnot. Uh, and, uh, but you come in, you, you can do that for a thousand dollars, pay somebody's earnest money deposit and you can charge them a premium. You can double your money. $1,000, you can charge them. Look, if I give you this money, I want $2,000 back. I'll give you a thousand. You give me a thousand dollars on top of my thousand, right? So if you do that, then how many transactions can you do? How much money do you have right now to be able to do this with, right? So let's just say you have, you know, $10,000. You could do this 10 times, 10 separate transactions with 10 different people, right? And you can do it within 30 days because these people close within 30 to 90 days, 30 to 90 days, you know, close. Uh, they close much faster than that. So within, let's say, three months, you can go, you can take your $10,000 and pretty much double it or more. Right. So now you have 20 grand. And then you can do it again. You can double it again the next three months. Now you got 40 grand. So by the end of the year, you can have from 10,000, you can have pretty close to 80 to a hundred thousand dollars. If you don't believe that, you can you can research it. Gap lenders, transactional lenders make a make a ton of money. Those transactions are not worth uh, anything really to like a hard money lender or other private money lenders. A bank is not going to allow you to to borrow money to to put on a, on a earnest money deposit. Uh, so let's take the bank and the private uh, hard money lender, right? They don't do that. They want to, they want to spend more. They want to give you more. They want to give you a hundred, 200, 300,000 at least, you know, for you to buy this property. And then the upside has to be huge. Right. And they take fees up front, you know? Uh, so it's not worth their time, but you can do it. That's what I've been doing for uh, a lot of years now. As I say all the time, I started doing this, lending my money uh, via tax lien and tax deed investing. I'm lending my money to a homeowner who cannot pay their taxes. I'm securing my money with what is called a tax lien. And that tax lien is issued by the county. And you can start buying these tax liens with $25, $50, $100, just to make sure if you do that, then you're a real estate investor already, and then you can keep doing it. Now, the returns are a lot less, and they're based on, uh, you know, uh, usury laws. So they're very small. You cannot do the same uh, as, as you can with, like, transactional lending or gap lending or anything like that. But it does get you started and you do get into the flow of things. If you want to see more videos about that, how to get started in tax liens or in lending to real estate, let me know and I'll, and I'll do like a tutorial. I'll share my screen and everything else, but let me know below, right? <clears throat> so, so when you start doing this, you will realize that it is so easy to start with Investing in real estate, so, so easy. It just takes a little bit of education. You'd be, you know, you have to be willing to lose $50. Let's say you want to go buy a tax lien. What you will discover is that you, because the types of brains that we have, uh, we're always like anticipating like huge trouble and stuff with things that we don't understand. So just Spend $50 on your education. You have to tell your brain, I'm willing to lose 50 bucks. You go out to the county, you buy the tax lien for $50, okay? Meanwhile, just thinking that you'll never see that money again. But then all of a sudden, you get your money back and you get it back with interest. Maybe a year, two years later, who knows, right? Maybe one, two months later. But you get your money back and you get it with a return. And now what 
happens in your brain is that now you're like, oh my gosh, this actually worked. That dude on, on, on YouTube, you know, he kind of told me how to do this. And now you start taking other risks. You start being more adventurous and you start lending uh, to these guys that need money more than, you know, you make more than tax liens. So for bigger returns, okay, so that gets you started. That's how you get started. Uh, so once you become more sophisticated, uh, which you will inevitably, you cannot avoid it. Um, then you're going to start lending to other people and securing it with other ways, all the way from like mortgage, you secure it with a note, you secure it with like even a business note, you can secure your money in many, many different ways. Um, but that is something that we can explain later. And I will explain, we'll make more videos about that. So stay tuned. Uh, but for now, uh, that is just how to get started. Now we're going to go into the second portion of the video, which is I go and find opportunities. The way that I do now things is say I have $100,000. If you went and bought stock, uh, you would get $100,000 worth of stock. Maybe. Because if you went and sold it the next day, you will not have $100,000. Guaranteed. Very few people might, but most of us won't. You have $100,000 or less, probably less than the money you spent. But if you take the same $100,000, go and buy a property worth a million dollars, then now you own a million dollar property. Yeah, there's debt on it. There's debt. So your equity may be, you know, $100,000. But now you can start making income on this property. But if you do it correctly, then you can take your $100,000, okay? This is where it gets really cool. And then buy 10 properties, 10 properties for $10,000 down towards a seller finance option or seller finance uh, deal where the owner gives you seller finance. And now you really own that property with a note carried by the seller, right? And now you own 10 properties. Now you own a portfolio, all of that with $100,000. You keep that portfolio for two, three years, and then you sell it. You're going to have a lot more than $100,000. That is for sure. But in the meantime, those two, three years, you were generating income, monthly income. So my advice is keep the properties and keep the income. Okay, you can refinance them later when, when rates are low, uh, lower or whatever, uh, but now they're getting paid down. Okay, so that's my advice. So now let's go into the portion of the, the video where we find these opportunities. Okay, so we are going to begin calling these opportunities and I make these videos so that you and I can partner together and buy them together. Why not? Why are we not doing business together? You are interested, obviously, in growing your nest egg. I can help you and you can help me. We can help one another. So let's go ahead and, and, and help each other. Uh, that's how we do our best work when we are helping one another. So let's see here. So we're going to go into a system called a CRM. Uh, customer relationship management software. And on there, I have all of the people who we are uh, uh, talking to uh, and trying to determine if we will uh, buy their properties. Okay. So I'm going to go here. Um, first one's name is Sarah. Okay, she's got a property, uh, let's see, this came in like seven days ago. I'm behind because I've been doing other deals and so I get really behind. So let's see here. This came in from Fisbo. okay, it's a for sale by owner. So on this one, I gotta go see if, uh, 
she'll let us rent to own. Okay. Um, and this is, how far is this from me? Okay, this is about, uh, I'm looking at the map on Google Maps to see where this is located. Okay, this is close to Pensacola. Okay, so I'm gonna call, uh, let's check out the notes. It's not for sale by owner anymore. I don't think it's sold, so let's see. Beautiful home, quiet street, backed up to unbuildable something. Hiking located in the back, nine feet. Okay. Okay, let's call. Sarah. Hello. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? This is Ben. Good. Ben. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I had seen your property uh, that you had. You were trying to sell it uh, by owner. Yeah, before. I don't have it anymore. You sold it. Oh. Yeah. Thank you for your call. Bye bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye bye. Okay. So she sold it. Okay, dead. Mm -hmm. and this can be so on my CRM. I organize all this, so I just mark it as lost, and then I move on to the next one. I don't like doing a ton of uh, due diligence because of this. All of these I'm calling right now. They're they were at one point, or they are even now. They're for sale by owner properties so reach out and uh this is flagler beach oh cool uh this is close to me so we just call and and see why they're selling that type of thing uh, uh this is a mobile home 55 plus community i think No, this looks like a condo. Okay, let's see. Notes, waterfront, the intercoastal. These are cold calls. They, they come into our system. I don't know how, I think uh, one of our team members just sort of scrapes and puts them on there. Hello. Yes, good morning. Uh, I was calling about your property on uh, Ocean Palm Drive. I, I think yeah. uh, you have it for sale. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, I was looking on Zillow. I know that I had seen it on Zillow before, but it's not for sale on Zillow right now. Uh, um, it is, but I went with the realtor. Oh, you went with a realtor now? Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, how, how long ago? Um, about 18 days ago. 18 days ago, okay. okay. Yeah, it should be in Zillow under 40 Ocean Pound Zillow South. Yeah. Could you tell me how much you want for it? Um, we're at, uh, what do they have it at? 318. 318. Oh, I'm sorry, 314. 314.9. 314. 314.9. And is that the best you can do? Well, we're open for an offer. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, the pictures I assume that I see on Zillow are all updated, right? Those are pictures that you took recently? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, the house is in moving condition. Oh, it's a house. It's not a condo. Oh, no, it's a condo. Okay. But it's uh, in, I think of it as the house. <laughs> it, is it kind of like, a, like a, what's it called? Uh, one of those houses uh, uh, that are right next to one another, uh, townhomes? Yeah, it's an empty unit, and it's a two-story. It's a townhouse style, but it's condominium uh, rulings, mm. which means they do everything. They take care of the roof. They take care of everything is done for you. Okay. Do you live in, in, the, in the property? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So... I would, I, I'm, I'm going to be totally honest with you. If, if, if we were to move forward and buy it, uh, we would want to use it for uh, a rental, either a short-term rental or long-term rental. Do you think the HOA would allow that? They allow um, one month rental. Oh, so one These month houses, rental. Uh, yeah, they rent very easily. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not hard, especially in the winter. You could get like a six month renter. Mm -hmm. very easily mm -hmm. in the winter time. Uh, but even during the summer, you could rent it by the month, but you can't rent it by the week. Okay. So you can do, so you, what you're saying is the minimum they allow is one month. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. What are the HOA fees? Uh, the HOA fee is 625, 625. but it includes everything, including your cable TV or, your internet, and, oh. uh, the bug supply, the garbage, uh, everything is covered. Uh, so the only thing you pay is uh, your electric bill. That's the, the only thing I pay out here. And then I added some things to my, because I live here full time, um, I added some things to my cable. My oh. cable bill, uh, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's really, I, mm -hmm. I pay hardly anything. Uh, we have I pay forty-one dollars a month for all my cable, my my internet, um, everything, telephone, everything is just uh, that's all I pay. How much per month you so, say? Pardon me. How much did you say per month you pay? I only I pay forty-one, but that's only because I took extra things out. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it would be twenty dollars. Gotcha. And that covers all your internet, your cable. So if you were renting it. They would have phone service, basic phone service. They'd have basic cable mm -hmm. uh, for the TV and, and everything. Uh, they'd have um, access to Wi-Fi and everything. Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty good. That's all covered under your HOA. It's really, uh, the, like I said, the only thing I really have to pay, the only reason I pay anything is because I, I have extra things that I took out. Gotcha. But otherwise, all your basics are in there, and mm -hmm. the only thing you pay is the electric bill. Mm -hmm. Only thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Do you have a mortgage on the property? No, I don't. So you own it free and clear. Okay, that's good. You can move faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where are you originally we're from? Moving, we're, we've been here for 26 years. I, I 26. love it here. Yeah. It's like being on vacation. The walk, the short walk to the ocean, but right out the river. We oh, have beautiful yeah. sunsets. The manatees and the dolphins are going by. Are all <laughs> I mean, it's absolutely, I love it. I hate moving. I'm yeah. not really for this, uh, but my kids are pushing us to move because, oh. you know, been here 26 years. They're, they're worried about us if anything happens. So mm -hmm. my daughter lives close to, I have two daughters that live nearby and they want us to be closer to them. And that's why we're moving. Gotcha. Um, otherwise, my daughter owned another house that she was renting, and the renter is gone. And she wants us to move in there, gotcha. and that's where we're going. Otherwise, they'd be they'd have to tear me. They're tearing me out of here right now. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, uh, it does rent. It does rent very easily if you're looking at it for investment, mm -hmm. and um, we're really selling it cheap. Uh, I, it's the way the market is right now. And yeah. uh, because I'm kind of forced to make this decision at this point. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Yeah. But, but I'd rather not. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
if you, I don't know if you've ever been down here. I mean, it's just I have. Our, our view is is uh, fantastic. Yeah, I I live but, uh, I live in Ormond by the beach. I mean, by the sea. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So you're familiar with the area. Yeah, very very familiar. What what uh, what do you yeah. think we can rent this for? Um. Well, if you're doing it during the winter, just winter months. I think it rents for like three thousand uh, or twenty five hundred or three thousand a month. I'm not sure because okay. um, I've never rented. Uh, if you're doing year round renter, um, and and we can do that, I think it's like two thousand a month. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. For year round, I'm not. I I had my father lived here. Oh, uh, before and, and his though after he passed away we did rent the house for two years gotcha and uh, it rented very easily mm -hmm. hold on just a moment mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh. hold on no problem uh, let me call you back okay just my sister gotcha. um <laughs> uh but it, we rented it out it was it it rented right away and we had a uh, year-round renter, mm -hmm. and that worked out real good. Gotcha. But it depends on what you want want it for. If it's strictly investments, you might want to get a year-round renter. Mm -hmm. If you're doing, um, if you want to use it part of the year, then I would do the six months uh, during the winter months, mm -hmm. yeah. and then you could use it in the summer and, and that. But if you're living in at Ormond, uh, Ormond by the Sea. Mm -hmm. You probably would prefer to just have a year-round renter. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, would. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, I, I'd like to see it for sure. I'd like to come and see it. Um, do you have any any uh, objections to um, to like um, if you need to take that, go ahead and do it. Yeah, hold on just a minute. Mm -hmm. um, no, I don't need to take that. Okay. That's it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So no, I was I was saying that uh, obviously I know the area and stuff, but I'd like to see it. Um, the, um, the here here's what I'm thinking. Uh, the the HOA really is really high, <laughs> but I I I I, I, bet I you know I get that it covers everything, uh, but it is an HOA. Yeah. Uh, how is how is the HOA in terms of like dealing with them? Oh, they're very nice. I mean, it, I don't have a problem with the HOA. You know, we have mm -hmm. we have a management company, um, okay. but the uh, board is made up of our neighbors here. Oh, good. And um, and they have a meeting every month that you could go to if you have anything. And we have a caretaker on site, which is really nice because if you need anything mm -hmm. uh, done, you just call, you just put in a, a notice that you want something done, and, and they take care of it. And they're very good about uh, keeping up the property. Mm -hmm. um, so the HOA is is high, but a lot of it is because of insurance nowadays and stuff. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's the way it is. But yeah, we do have a pool. We have a tennis court. We have a basketball. We have pickleball. You know, yeah. so there's a lot of grounds that have to be taken care of. The tennis court right now is um, doesn't look too good <laughs> <laughs> uh, because uh, you know they're other things that we've been doing, but it's on the schedule to be redone. Gotcha. So that's one of the things that's going to be, the pool is very nice. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a bigger than most of the pools in the area. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, we're kind of, a, a kind of isolated from the other areas. I don't know if you looked at the, if you see it on the map, where we have the woods on one side of us and mm -hmm. the, the ocean on the other. So there's, yeah. and it's very, very private, very nice. There's yeah, also an at... area for kayaks mm -hmm. if they have a, 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 you know, if they want a kayak boat or anything. Mm -hmm. It's it's really, an, I, I mean, I, I'm overselling because I love it here. But... Sure, sure. No, I, I, <laughs> uh, I get it. I get it. Is it a two-story or do you live or is two units? It's a, it's a two-story. Oh, yeah. That's, what... so that's why you feel like you're in a private house. It's mm -hmm. a, there's a private entrance to the front. You, you know, there's no common halls. I don't like... Uh, I don't like the high rises because I don't like the the common areas, you know, the common yes. halls and all that. Stuff. That's right. That's so right. it's um, 
And it's a one car garage. Our garage is um, completely tiled mm -hmm. with uh, plank tiling. Mm -hmm. And um, so we use it uh, almost as another room. You could mm -hmm. park a car in there, mm -hmm. but uh, we've had parties in there. I have dinners. So my grandkids come in. I have them use that room because I don't want them messing up my house. <laughs> and uh, yeah. it's a. Uh, it's really, a, it's a very nice house. I'd love to have you see it. Yeah, yeah, I'd um, love to see it. Yeah. I think uh, you might have to go through a realtor, and I have a realtor who, um, who you know, could just make arrangements to show it to you, mm -hmm. if you would like. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we, we can certainly do that. I Like I said, I'm, I'm just, just a, a few miles from you, so that's not that's not a big deal. Uh, I looked at another system and it is listed. Uh, she listed it already, I think. Uh, uh, okay. Um, if, if I were to, I, I, I ran this system, like I said, we do buy rental properties and stuff. Uh, it's showing me on my end that um, the, the price to 10, I mean, 310 is a little bit, is a little bit high. If I if I if I came and, and I and I offered you two fifty, what would you oh. would you consider that? Uh, not two fifty. Not two fifty. No, okay. you'd have to come up a little bit. I mean, I'm willing to come down on the price, mm -hmm. but um, but that would be really low. That'd be really low. Okay, so I I have to come up. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. let, let's there's do one the for there's one for sale here for two fifty. And the reason it's two fifty is there's no nothing is done on the inside. I don't even think they have cabinets. Oh, gotcha, um, gotcha. Okay. You know, so that would be that's what you get for two fifty. Oh, you get so, something that's not uh, done. Okay. Yeah, you get a I got a unit, but um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> this is this house is is in moving condition. You don't have mm -hmm. to do anything to it. Yeah. Okay. You would so be able to rent it the next day. Gotcha. So, Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, no, no problem. Uh, let's, let's, let's keep talking about, you know, something that works for both of us. Um, let's see if I were to come see it, uh, next week. Um, let me see if I have the realtor's number. Hold on. Just a minute. Uh, I think. So I accessed another system. Yeah, I have it. I have it. It's Remax, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Max is his name. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got his number here. Okay. So let me do this. I'll go ahead and give him a call, schedule a time to see it. I mean, I'd love to meet you too, you know, but uh, if, if you don't want to do that, no problem. We can go through the realtor, whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah. Uh, I had it up for odor. So, you know, I, I would have uh, been happy, but I don't think I'm supposed to show it when you go at the real estate. So. <laughs> Yeah, mo 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 most upset. people don't. Yeah, <laughs> most people don't feel comfortable doing that. There's nothing wrong. You can do that. I mean, there's nothing like against the contract or law or anything like that. But just most people don't like doing that, you know. So yeah. So so no problem. I can go ahead and give him a call. But uh, let me do also a little bit of due diligence. I will give him a a call and then hopefully set something up for next week sometime. Okay, let me give you the name. Wait, hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, a realtor that I know here, and she knows our house and everything. Okay. And um, if you want to go, because he's out of state, and I don't know who he uses. Oh, I see. Um, for, for a realtor. Mm -hmm. And uh, I kind of like to have you work with this other girl, because she's right in the area. She knows everything. She knows the area. She knows our house and everything. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to find her number here. How come I don't have it? Hmm. Hold on a minute. Oh, here it is. Okay. okay. It's Melissa Cavanaugh. Okay. And her number is 386-846-4631. Okay. And if you want to call her, uh, she can make arrangements. She's right here, right in the area. Gotcha. Okay. And he's he's down um, as a realtor. Isn't really local. Yeah. So no problem. I would 
I would rather have a local realtor. For sure. For uh, sure. Have you go through them. So, uh, well, we'd love to show it to you. Okay. I wish I could just tell you to come over, <laughs> but I don't think I'm supposed to do that. No problem. <laughs> I'll go ahead and contact Melissa and we can set it up that way. And then uh, we can that see. That would be it. good. Yeah, we can see where we, uh, where we can uh, reach a meeting of the minds. I'd uh, love, to, love yeah. to see what we can do. I mean, we're open minded. We're open minded for, uh, for the 250 would be, you know, yeah. if you saw it, we put a lot into the house. Sure. But I mean, it is moving condition. And if you go 250, you're, you're going to have to do some work. Gotcha. gotcha um, yeah, sure. Which would bring you up to our price anyway. Once you start having to do all that, you know, yeah, you might as well you might as well just uh, be able to rent it right away. Yeah, you know. So, um, yeah. anyway, yeah. all right. Okay. Uh, what is your name? My name is Ben. What was your name? I don't see your name. I didn't see your name in the in the previous. Yeah, uh, yeah. They don't show us. Uh, my name is Carm. C A R M. When you talk to Melissa, just tell her you talk to Carm. Okay, Carm. Okay. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much. And I'll tell her that uh, somebody named Ben might call her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ben, ben, last so, name is Marks. M-A-R-K-S. Ben Marks. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, thank good luck, and uh, I hope to meet you soon. Likewise. Thank you, ma'am, so much. Have a good day. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye now. Carm. Okay. My name is Carm. Never heard that before. Made a verbal offer of uh, two fifty. So that's two uh, I can come see it. So I'm making notes right now on my CRM so that I can uh, I can uh, stay organized. Three eight six four eight six eight four six forty six. Fifty one. Melissa Kavanaugh. Okay. Um, I'm I made an offer, right? Um, but I will make Another offer uh, for seller financing. They own it free and clear. They own it free and clear. Their kids are pushing them to move. That's why they are selling, but have owned it for six years okay all right so that went okay let's see the next one so let's uh here we have another potential one for sale by owner again let's see here there is this one here destin okay destin is nice Pending, pending plus it's expensive, so I will wait for it. Nurture. Okay.
great neighborhood. Voluntary HOA. I will do this one in a six month nurture. Okay. It is, I, I'm skipping that one because I don't think it's a, it's a, it says motivated seller, it's pending, but the price is above what I want to do, what I want to buy. Let's see this one here. Uh, where is it? Palm Coast. Okay. This is nearby. For sale by owner, okay. Call directly, 518. You know, these are, um, no one has spoken to them. This, these are decisions that we got to make on the fly. And I'm going to put these ones here on calling later because there's other deals I want to focus on. So I will put them on a six month nurture here. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, I'm just going to move them here real quick. Okay. I don't want to get into the uh, into the cold calling phase. I have some deals I've got to be calling, and these I can take care of later. Stacy, okay. So I have to keep myself organized. Okay. Jennifer. Okay. All right, so now let's go on to one that is gonna be 
probably a little bit. It's from cold calling, so let's see what happens. Vacant property, that's great. This is coming from cold calling. Uh, let's see. It's a two one. Okay, this is in uh, Sanford. Okay, close by enough. Vacant property. Some renovations. I mean. Okay. Sharon. This is Sharon. Hey, good morning, Sharon. How are you? This is Ben. I'm good. How about yourself? Doing fantastic. Doing fantastic. You spoke to my assistant, Gil. Uh, he mentioned that you guys were doing some renovations on your property right now um, uh, in Sanford, Pe Pecan Avenue, and uh, that you might consider selling it. Well, it's a lot more going on than just renovation. So, you got some squatters going on. I'm going to court. Eviction process going on. So it's a lot more than just renovation. We're trying to, but we got to, can't do much with the squatters. Yeah, I've, I've had those before many times. My goodness, they're such a pain. Yeah, but I'm going to have to call you back because I'm at the court right now. Oh, to file. I <laughs> got you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Okay, yeah, please call me back. I can help you also, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> she's, she's filing. Uh, she said there's more going on with it because there are some squatters. And she is at the court house filing to get them out. There will be repairs and everything. We'll call me back, she said. So this is going to be going into a uh, persevering campaign because this is a good lead. All right. So, man, we are getting them. Like, our marketing is doing so well. I can't tell you. Um, okay. So we're going to leave it there for now. I have to go and work on other deals that I have working on. I mean, my videos are getting shorter and shorter and shorter, but uh, give me a call. We have properties all the time like this one. I think we can help her make her make her an offer and get it off her hands. And then we go and we deal with the issues, me and my people. <laughs> Let's do some deals together. You know, that's the purpose of these videos is that we get to know one another so we can see what we can do with properties and stuff and we can make some money together. Uh, via rentals. We are doing some flips now more than before. I didn't want to get into many flips, but sometimes you have to. Uh, but uh, primarily we want to generate that retirement passive income. So come here if you really want to learn how to generate passive income, retirement income in real estate and grow your nest egg, okay, through 
putting your money to work in real estate. So let's do that. See you next video. Give me a thumbs up, a like, subscribe. Contact me below. There's information below how to contact me. Uh, and uh, comment. Reach out. See you next time. Bye-bye.